How's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use the max date and how to deal with the date inside of a data set when, you know, different parts of your data set have different dates and you want to return the last date based on maybe some type of dimension. In this case, it happens to be the company field. And you just want to know, hey, if it's not all the same, how do I get the maximum date for each one of them individually? I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. So stay tuned. So as you can see here, we have company A through D inside of our data set. And the last date in this data set is August 1st. Now, we have different companies and the problem that came that came around was each company data kind of comes in at different dates, but most of the time it all comes in, you know, at the end of the month. So by the 31st of the month, we usually get all the data for August, but we have company C right here. For some reason, company C just couldn't get their act together for some reason and they can't get their data in on time. So usually they're actually two months behind. So their data that we have now, now is uh, September 2nd. Um, the data that we have for them is still based in July, so their data won't get loaded anytime soon. So I ran into this problem. So I built this dashboard out and this is an executive dashboard. So you can imagine how freaked out executives were. They logged into the dashboard and they're going and they're selecting and they go and they select company C and all of a sudden, guess what? Company C is just showing random data that doesn't make any sense. Like it's showing random data for August because the maximum data it's looking for is August. So it's trying to render this stuff in the view and it just wasn't right. So I'm going to show you exactly how to fix this. I'm going to show you one of my favorite calculations. I do this on every single dashboard I build. I don't care if I don't use it, even though I use it on like every dashboard. And that's this max billing date calculation. Like, so let me show you my dependency upon this. This right now has 40 dependencies, I've probably written 40 calculations for this entire dashboard, which means that everything is pretty much based off this calculation. It's the first calculation I write. Can't stress that enough. And why do we use this calculation? Well, when you build something in a dashboard and you want to know if you're doing good or bad, it's always usually relative to something else. Like you want to know how am I doing this month, maybe versus last month, or how are we doing this quarter versus last quarter. That max date calculation goes all the way into the calculate uh, into the table. And let me just space this apart for you real quick. As you can see, I have these level of detail calculations right here on here. Those are those little squiggly brackets that you see there. And it's saying, hey, go get the last date out of all the data in the data set, I don't care about anything. I don't care what filters you have on. Just go to the data set and get me the maximum date you have for that particular column. And so it happens for this particular column called billing date that the maximum date in that column is last month, which was August 1st, 2020. Now the problem came in where company C actually didn't have any date for August, but they had data for July. So how do we fix that? I'm going to show you a simple solution. Going to go in here, we're going to take this out and we're going to put in this calculation right here. So now we have essentially almost the same calculation, except we threw in one thing extra. We threw in an include statement and we're going to include the company name. So we're going to say, hey, go to the data set using these brackets, like ignore whatever I have in the view, go all the way to the data set. But I want you to look for the company name. So I'm including the company name or you could, you know, maybe fix it on the company name, but I think include works better in this case, just so you can drag different things in the view. So include the company name. So go all the way to the data set, look for the company name, and then return the max billing date based on whatever that company name is. So if company A is 7-1-2020, then return the date for that date. So if you take a look right here, I'm missing a row right here. I'm gonna go ahead and press enter on this calculation. And all of a sudden you saw that the date changed. So now it's 8171 and 81. And now I have data for that particular month. So that's how you can fix that pesky little problem. And I probably would build the rest of my calculations out like this in the future if I know I might run into it. This was a very, uh, very simple solution, but actually I was looking at it in a lot of different creative ways and just realized the simplest solution is always the way to get there. So if you want to learn more about level detail calculations or anything like that, be sure to check out our other videos and I will see you in the next tutorial.